Are you ready to break the chains of poverty over your life? What well, a doctor has to remedy. The book, The Ten Commandments to Black Economic Power, is here right now, written by the People Scholar, Finance PhD, Dr. Boyce Watkins. Also, buckle your seatbelt because summer 2023, B1, the movie, is about to launch. You definitely don't want to miss that. And here's what you all been waiting for the All Black National Convention is making a stop in Atlanta. That's right, we coming to the A. October 2023. Make sure you go to boycewalkins.com to get your tickets or we'll have the link in the description. Really come to. Let's start off with Quavo though, man. Cause um I guess he put something on Twitter, right? He put a, a post on Twitter that had a lot of fans worried when he put um I know it's been some years, but I've been taking Zans. Now a lot of people think that he is making a reference to taking the prescription drug Xanax. Now, I look at it like this, right? The dude's been through a lot. You know, in the last few months, if he was, yeah, it's addictive and all that. But I, I don't want to say so what, but everybody has to take something to cope. And then we know they give people antidepressants, people who are having anxiety issues, people having, you know, whatever. They give you these type of drugs, Xanax, um, whatever the, the brand names of some of these drugs are to kind of keep you at ease, to kind of keep you relaxed. And more people than you think. On these drugs, I mean, he dealt with the, the tragic, you know, sudden death, you know, of his family member, uh, take off. He was mm -hmm. there when it happened. Mm -hmm. That's a traumatic experience, yep. you know. Other things that he dealt with, I think, other people in his, his family died. You know, um, the whole situation was offset, and it's just been a lot of stuff. So, I think people should kind of fall back. But when you're in that celebrity spotlight. Any little things you say and do is going to come with a microscope. Right. But how, how do you feel about it? Man? Yeah, I mean, I saw it. And <clears throat> I, I I agree with everything you just said. He's gone through a lot, right? And they didn't. he didn't say, first off, I thought it was a bar or maybe a song that he's about to drop or something like that. But let's say that bar is for real. Let's say that what he said is for real and he is taking it. That don't mean he's abusing it. That don't mean he's out here snorting it. That don't mean he's out here right. stealing shit or, or doing anything reckless or wild or popping 40 at a time doing it. This is a, it's a, a prescribed sedative to cope and do and help things that he's potentially going through. Anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress. People are giving this stuff for that to happen. Now, is it the healthiest thing? Of course not. But no medicine is. That don't mean he's out here abusing it. And I know that there's a terrible stigma when it comes to hip-hop and drug use as of the last five to ten years. So when you see these kind of things, you're like, damn, hopefully he don't get strung out or caught up in a situation where we see a lot of rappers get caught up and they looking crazy. I don't think this is one of those situations. I don't think it's one of those circumstances. Even through all of the trauma, through all of the pain, publicly, it still seems like he's pretty tightly wound. Still seems like he's on his shit. You would start seeing erratic behavior, and they would have to, I don't say they would have to, but more than likely that would be seen on social media. That would be seen as he's out in his everyday behavior. I don't think it's a situation where we need to worry as of yet. Pray for the brother? Of course. I think he's going through a lot. Yeah, yeah, and um, see, sometimes you could be like on these different things. You could, he could be getting therapy. He could be going through some, you know, it might not just be the drug that he's on. It could be other things. He could be seeing a psychiatrist and things to help him cope right. and eventually wean himself, you know, off of it. So I think that was a good point. Doesn't mean he's abusing it. And we don't know if he's really even talking about a Xanax. It right. could be a lot of, you know, different things that could be used. But, you know, um... It's just, I hope the best for him, man. Uh, you know, I think he's a good dude, you know, ultimately at heart. I just hope the best for him, you know, in that whole situation, man. It's just, looking back on that whole, the takeoff death is just crazy, man. It's just a crazy situation, so. You know what's even crazier? That yeah. As we enter almost month of September, because August is about done, that happened Halloween of last year, bro. Man, are you almost serious? Been a year. Think about that. It happened on Halloween of last year. Wow. And you know, here we are approaching almost a year. And it just also goes to show you that there's no timetable on when wounds heal. There's no timetable on when things can be taken. Like, you know what I mean? Time heals all wounds, but ain't nobody got a timetable on when those wounds are healed. And especially because, remember the circumstances, right. too. A lot of people were trying to blame him. Yeah. Not directly, right. but indirectly. They were trying to say because of his actions erratic and actions and stuff like that, that yeah. this may have caused... You know, the situation to kind of escalate. So that's probably weighing on the dude. I yeah. guarantee you. He yeah. was like, damn, man, if I ain't do this and do that, maybe he was drunk or high that night. 
And maybe he was like, if I had a clear mind, I wouldn't. You never know what people are going through, man. That's why I think it's always just good to to to, to wisely to treat people, you know, with respect and dignity because you never know what that next person might be feeling or going through, what emotion might be going through their head. So you never know. Yeah, we don't. None of us know outside of the people who were there what happened that night. But I guarantee you, Quavo's looking at maybe one or two things that happened that night and goes, "Damn, if I would have did this differently, what if this?" It's natural, Absolutely. Man. It's human nature. And I don't think he should blame himself. We weren't there. We don't know. And if he is, you just pray for that brother. You don't know what people are going through. How you, how you feel about him and Offset? You think that they pretty much buried the hatchet with that situation? I hope so. Because, right. you know, that, that situation, even though they weren't cousin, that kind of reminded me of us a little bit. Like, right. We ain't, we ain't got a little third person that we really, like, tightly wound to. But let's just say it was it was us in there. We made it. We got the hat of our career. One of us weren't happy contractually. That right. don't mean I don't want to see you eat. That don't mean I don't want to see you happy. Yeah, things right. happen. And yeah, tempers might flare and we may have to fall apart for a little bit. But I still got love for you. And then you add to it somebody very close to us. A piece of us died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why are we going through this? So real time, I was hoping and praying that them two brothers got together because I understand the importance of them two reconciling and getting back together. So I'm, I'm hopeful that we, we see Quavo saying positive things about Offset. We see Offset saying positive things for Quavo. Never really heard him say anything bad about him. So even though they were going through their shit, so I'm I'm pretty confident that they, their their their, their issues are being hashed out and ironed out. And I'm also pretty confident that in the future, I think we're gonna see music from them, man. I do. I think we're gonna see music from them too. Maybe not this year. Maybe not even next year. But soon, I think we're gonna see music from them too. Yeah, and I think it, the, the industry's gonna need it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, especially in in the wake. Of takeoff passing away, it's like it's needed for those two to remain strong, mm -hmm. keep the bond strong, and still put that music, you know, Migos music out. It might not be quite the same, right? But it's still needed. Facts for sure. 